everyone. My name is Billy Polson from Diakati Fitness Performance Live in San Francisco. People often ask me when in their workout program, during the workout, when should they do their abdominal exercises, uh, specifically the isolated abdominal exercises. And I wanted to give you guys some advice on that. Uh, I saw someone doing a workout earlier this week where they started the workout out off by doing their abs first and completely burnt them out. And so their abs were pretty much exhausted walking into the program. So then they went and did squats. So as they were doing their squats, they definitely wouldn't have the stability and the strength that they would need in their core in order to protect their back during a power movement or uh, more of a big uh, compound movement like a squat. So I highly recommend if you're going to do isolated ab exercises, always do them at the end of your workout so that your abdominals are actually strong and able to support your body whether you're doing a squat or even if you're doing a flat bench dumbbell chest press. You're still using your abdominals to stabilize and so you'll actually get better work out of the muscles that you're working if your abdominals are strong and stable. You can do a little bit of uh, warm up for your abs in the beginning of the workout, maybe uh, just a plank or something to actually cue the muscles on, but definitely don't do any isolated abdominal exercises in the beginning that will completely exhaust the muscle.